Hey Reddit, I just want to show you the newest disguise Reddit at work site called msoutlookit.com. So if you go to the website and bring it up and full screen it, it looks a lot like Microsoft Outlook 2007, and it even has window simulations. So you can make a new window, drag it around, minimize it, maximize it, all that good stuff. But one of the biggest features though is that the site now supports logging in. So you can type in your username and your password, send that email, and you'll actually get logged in on my server on the back end and you'll get back a list of all the subreddits you subscribe to as a Reddit user. If there's a subreddit you want that's not there, just type in subreddit in the name of the subreddit and send that email and I'll make a new folder icon for that subreddit. In terms of navigation, click on the folder icon to get all the top stories from that subreddit. We're gonna go to the front page for now though, and you can click on as many stories as you want and they'll all load asynchronously in the background. So now we can see these are all populated with data from the server. In terms of this top story right here though, we can open up images, if you like the story you can upload it, you can close out images, you can actually resize images too by clicking and dragging just like in Reddit Enhancement Suite. If you want to respond to a story or a comment, just hit reply and you get a new email window. So you can type whatever you want in there and hit send and it'll be sent to the server. You can also upvote and downvote comments, um, reply to comments as well. One of the other features though is that if somebody sends you a link to a comments page, you can go there directly. So here we're going to go to the Battlefield 3 trailer. There's YouTube embedding as well, so you can open up YouTube videos and watch them inside the email pane. Another feature is that I ported the link screen dumps from MS Worded over here. So you can read an article off-site inside a window inside the email pane. One of the last features is that I also resize images. So these screenshots are actually really big, but I resize them down to fit within the window. So with that, on top of resizing with clicking and dragging is pretty useful. Also, say your boss walks in and you don't want him to see this image, if you just hover outside of the email pane, all the text highlighting and images will be hidden. The last feature, and I think this is pretty cool actually, is that if you're a logged in Reddit user and say you find yourself in a tight situation where your boss wants to see you type an email right in front of him, if you type your boss's email in the to field and your own email address in the cc field, and then a normal subject and a body, I'll actually send the email on your behalf and spoof the from address to make it look like it was from you originally. And we can actually go to my email inbox and see that it actually did in fact send. So that's pretty much the website. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, I tried to improve upon MS Worded, so there's some cool features in here. One last thing real quick though, if you're worried about being blocked at work, like MS Worded got blocked I think in a day on WebSense, I actually compiled a local version you can run from a file, and that will communicate with my own proxy server. So basically overcome at least one level of filtering, and you can download that in the description. Thanks for watching.